21 years ago this week, terrorists carried out the 9-11 attacks that left thousands dead. Those who survived the attacks carry the memories of the tragedy with them. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sidney Costas sat down with one of those survivors who shares his story for the first time. 72-year-old John Pianofort is a volunteer with the Feeding Families Ministry Food Pantry, an act of giving back he felt compelled to do. On September 11, 2001, Piano Fort was working at the World Trade Center when the deadliest terrorist attack in American history took place. More than two decades later, he's sharing his story. It changes you, believe me, it changes you. We thought we were safe there, you know. We had security, they had top security, we'd have to go through, uh, we had like a bar-coded IDs to go through, but I always felt safe. Piano Fort was a building engineer for 16 years. He was supposed to work on the 96th floor, but after someone called in sick, ended up on the seventh floor in the North Tower when it was hit by a hijacked plane. And all of a sudden I heard this big crash. He ran out of the building, explaining he couldn't believe what he saw. I looked down and I saw a silhouette of a plane. I all of a sudden looked up and I saw a jet hit the building and it was like, wow. And we ran and you know, a few people like picked up and just kind of like pushed that away because they stumbled just to get out of the way of, of the debris. Thinking back to the tragedy, emotions take over as he tells the stories of those who lost their lives. Her name was Denny. Uh, she was a, a guard. She died. Sorry. And she was on the first floor. She was on the first floor. She was a guard. She could have walked out of that building. She stayed and she, she helped people. And when the building came down, she died. The guilt of survival following him since that day, now using it to help others around him. I'm there every day and God spared me. Why? And for a while I felt guilty and it was like remorse. And after a while then I just realized it wasn't my time. Piano Fort says he hopes people hearing his story will make connections with the people around them and be grateful for life each and every day. In Kuba Township, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News. And you can find coverage from Sunday's commemoration ceremony of 9-11 on our website, pahomepage.com.